Hey guys, how you doing? I'm going to do a video right now introducing you to Robomo. Robomo is a radio controlled lawnmower that I made probably eight, nine years ago. I used him in Chicago a lot. That's when I made him originally. Um, when I came out here, he had some troubles driving through the gravel and he had uh, some issues with the soft grass. And at the same time, his, uh, his battery was dying. So I actually retired him to the basement. However, now that I'm uh, back up at full swing fabricating, thanks to the Baja bug, I'd like to uh, pull him out and start using him again because he, he was really a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Lots of people in the neighborhood enjoyed watching it, asking questions. Um, he, was, he was really cool. So I pulled him up from the basement. I went out. I bought a new battery. I'm going to pull him to the middle of the garage here so I can give you a real quick walkthrough of him. There's not too much to it. He started life as a Black & Decker 12-volt lawnmower. I took the, the motor and this mounting plate, which on the back side has all of the, uh, the lawnmower blade and all that stuff. The motor for the mower is hardwired. It goes up to this switch. If you flip this on, the motor starts turning and he's a lawnmower. I put in this style of switch so that if he's out of control or something, all you got to do is smack that with your hand and it shuts that down. I fabricated the chassis myself. It's basically just a round deck, just a couple inches wider than the lawnmower blade. It's got the front end here with a caster so that whatever direction the lawnmower goes, this front wheel just follows. In the back, it's got these two. These are uh, motors and gearboxes from an electric wheelchair. That's all they are. I got them used off of eBay. They came with the, the tires, the wheels, everything. And I just fabricated round pipe there to mount the gearboxes to. Then in the back, it's got a, a deep cycle 12 volt battery that sits in here. This is the controller. It's just a, a regular 2.4 gigahertz radio controlled car trans, uh, transmitter. This one in particular is three channels. This is the receiver. The receiver ties into this module. This module takes the steering and the throttle and it combines it to control each of the motors individually. So now that I've pulled him out and he's out of, let's call it retirement, I'm going to upgrade these wheels to something that is a lot wider so that he can travel over the gravel and that so that he doesn't sink in the grass out here because it's a lot softer. I'd like to try and come up with a way to take this motor out and install some type of brushless motor because the mo this motor is what sucks all the juice. It's because of this motor that he has to have such a big deep cycle battery. If I could come up with some contraption that would be a brushless motor, he would use a lot less power. So I'll probably be trying to figure out a way to come up with that. I'll also be making some modifications to the mower deck here. When I made it, it's, it's solid. And what I didn't realize at the time is for a lawnmower to actually work properly, it needs to be able to get rid of some of the air that it's trying to pull up. On some mowers, that'll be done via a back discharge. Some motors, mowers, it'll be done via a side discharge. What I'm thinking about doing on him, and I'm not sure yet, is making a discharge on this side and on this side that would just let the air come up and kind of shoot off to the side. So to run RoboMo, first you turn on the transmitter. Then I've got this second switch. This switch is for the mower deck, but you flip this switch. When you turn on that switch, it lets power go to the receiver. You see the LEDs lit up, and then it lets power go to the uh, motor controller. And, and basically that's it. So if you pull the throttle, he goes forward and backwards. If you turn the wheel, he goes to the left or to the right. Now what's nice about this controller is if you turn the steering 
without giving him any throttle input, he pivots right on himself. One motor goes forward, one motor goes reverse. So it gives him really good maneuverability. Yet, if you give him some throttle and you turn the wheel, he won't pivot on himself. He'll just reduce the speed to the motor, depending on how hard you're turning it, on the inside. So he'll make a gradual turn. Then when you take your finger off, you can rotate. So it's really nice. It's a really good speed controller. Um, anyways, that's the controls. So uh, let's take them out and uh, do some lawn mowing. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any specific questions on any of this on RoboMo, if you're thinking about possibly building one yourself or something, go ahead and leave it in the comments. I'll definitely get back to you and I'll give you any answers or any information that I can because I want you guys, if you're watching these videos, to be able to build stuff on your own and get out there and create. So thanks for watching the video, guys. Hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Take care.